Today on Trisha. Are these two women sisters or cousins? What do you call each other? Sisters, cousins? Sister curse. Over 30 years ago, this woman slept with these two men. So they were both sleeping with your mum at, at the same, the same time? time. <laughs> Who are brothers? It must not have been that good because I don't remember but one time with Brian. <laughs> OK, but where my daddy? Who knows? My mother is a whore. <laughs> the DNA results are only the beginning. I have done more for my mother than any of her kids. She's out, she's gone. And the and day I'm she comes that. back in, I will whoop on her like the color person. And I will show you how a mother Let's show like you. Show Get out my face, get out my face. And this man is denying both of his children because he believes his fiance is a liar. Once a cheater, always a cheater. He need to step up and be the damn father these damn kids stop fighting Will the DNA test unite this family or tear them apart? I dare you to deny our children! For real? For real? Don't tell me that babies don't look hard like you! People like you jump in and people's no. life like mine. I have to! You That's have to. my daughter and those are my grandkids! Love, lies, and the DNA truth. <laughs> Today on Trisha. This is Kyoka. Kyoka has come here today, desperate to find out who her father is. Over 30 years ago, around the time she got pregnant, her mother Lillian had sex with two men. This man, Tony, who Kyoka has always believed is her father, and this man, Brian. Now, here's the twist. Tony and Brian are brothers. Whoa. Next to Kyoka is Tonya, who she has always known as her sister. But after today's DNA results, could they actually be cousins? Let's welcome Kyoka and Tonya. <laughs> So, Kyoka, what do you call each other? Sisters? Cousins? Sister Cuz. Sister Cuz. <laughs> I mean, people are laughing. It's because you genuinely don't know. Right, correct. Mm, so, yes. you, who's, who's older sister? Me. She's your older. older sister. Okay. Who were you always told was your dad? Tony. Who were you told was your dad growing up? Tony for 15 years, then another man for a couple more years, then Brian for a couple more years. <laughs> So hang on, so first you're told it's Tony, when, how were you told it was another guy? How'd that come about? My mother's skeletons keep falling out the closet at my expense. When you say her skeletons, what kind of life was she leading? My mother is a whore. <laughs> so you were told that Tony was your dad? Yes. He was in your life? No. At all? No. How many times did you see him? Twice. That I remember. So the last time you actually laid eyes on him I was, was when 27. You were 27. You're now 37. Meanwhile, Kyoka, you don't know who your father is because first it was this. this first it was Tony. Tony. There then you're someone else. And then who did you think last is your father? Brian is the last candidate. Tony's brother. <laughs> And when did your mother tell you about that? Did she just volunteer that? No, Brian actually called me when the man who raised me um, died. Brian called me and uh, he let me know, you know, he had been sleeping with my mom back on, then. Whoa, 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 they're brothers. Right. So they were both sleeping with your mom at, at the, the same, same time? At the same damn time. <laughs> what do you want to get out of today? I want to put an end to this misery. I mean, the man who raised me, I was satisfied with. Until he passed away, I didn't even really imagine that I would care. I'm not the caring type. I consider myself not the caring type because I was raised by wolves. You know, so raised by wolves. That's that's a saying. Like when you have to feed yourself and bathe yourself and clothe yourself and love yourself. Hang on, where, 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 where was your mum? Lillian was in all of this. Maybe you could tell me. <laughs> what kind of relationship do you have with Lillian? I don't like her. Why not? Because she won't be honest to save her life, and she's when, what, she's about hurt who your dad is about who my dad is. What does she say? Uh, her relationship with Brian was. So she's saying she had a relationship with the two guys. No, anytime my mother get caught in no. something, she cry wolf. What was your childhood like? I could say that my mother was present in our lives, and to her, that was the best she can do. Was it a happy to childhood? Absolutely no. not. Did you 
Ever mm -hmm. go hungry? Of course. Yes. Were you beaten? We were beaten. We were abused by her significant others. We were treated like <laughs> Excuse me. We live in every live? we live in every shelter in Hartford to the point where we started calling one of the coordinators grandma. Who do you want your father to be, Keoka? I would choose Brian. You choose Brian. You have a relationship with Brian? I love him. You love him? Mm -hmm. And what about you, Tonya? You're absolutely 100% sure that Tony's your dad. Yeah, and my heart. What are you going to do if it... T I don't know what the DNA results will be, but what are you going to do if the men you think are your dads aren't? I, I don't know because I never even had that cross my mind. I, to me, I never had a father figure, so... It is what it is. Now, your mother, I understand, your mother Lillian had a lot to say, so let's hear her version of uh, what she believes is the truth. My daughters, Tanya and Kiyoka, are demanding to find out who their father is, and I am pissed. Why do they care now? It's been over 30 damn years. I raised my girls as a single mother. We didn't need their loser father then, and we don't need them now. I am 100% sure that Tony is Tanya's father. But I will admit that I am not sure who Kiyoka's father is. Yes, I did sleep with two brothers, Tony and Brian. Tony and Brian was never there for my daughters. Both of them were deadbeat dads, and I wish they would get the hell out of our lives. I don't know why my daughters are claiming that I was such a liar and a bad mother, but I've done nothing but my best. They need to get over it and move the hell on. Well, let's welcome Lillian. Uh, <laughs> let's welcome Lillian. This is Kioka and Tonya's mother. Let's welcome Lillian. To the show. <laughs> Lillian, you look angry. I am angry. What are you angry? I'm angry because my daughter's sitting here lying. A whore is someone who sleeps with every man and woman. She does. Okay? A, a mother doesn't raise their kids. I raised my kids to my best ability. We're gonna bring First everything out. with your snag a tooth ass. That's all right. Let's get this. 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 All right, all right. Let me just get my. No, I, I get why you feel like that. Okay. Ooh, okay, got it. Okay. I got it. All right. I got it. All right. Hold on. There's a lot of feeling there. You, did you? You say you did the best you did. As I a raised mother? my kids single mother. Yeah, by I hear what you. Hang on, just a minute, Lily. Five of them. But you said you did the best you could. Did that involve beating them? Did it involve them not being fed? Did my it... kids was always fed. We did not have a good childhood. We did not. And when it was just my mother and us, I don't have a bad memory. When it was the men she chose, did it was absolutely beat us, touched us mentally, physically. It was terrible. Well, I never knew nothing about it. It was... About you being touched. By who? It was terrible. He would do simple things like pinch my boob. Your is growing. He, he was terrible. He was terrible. He was her terrible choice for us. It was. And at some point, you say, I apologize. There's no but with an apology. There's no excuse with an apology. There's no, okay, it wasn't that bad. And I never said you it can't, wasn't bad. You can't say to somebody, okay, you're hurting, and I can see it's hurting you 40 damn years later, it's hurting you. Okay, let's talk about Brian and Tony. Okay, let's talk how, about this. How old were you when still. you met, who did you meet first, Brian? Tony. Tony. Yeah. How old were you when you met Tony? 18. How old was he? 19. How old was uh, his little brother, Brian? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. So what was the relationship between you and Tony? Did you live with him? Yes, or... we did. Yeah? Yes, we Happy did. Happy relationship? Mm, yeah, it was okay. It was okay, and that, that's, that's Tonya's dad? Yes. And then what about with uh, Kyoka? What? It's either, uh, I'm gonna be honest, like I said, because I don't have to lie about nobody, because I don't have to press nobody. Right. Kyoka's father is either Tony, you didn't have sex with Brian? I didn't have sex with Brian. I got drunk, Brian took the cookies. Oh. <laughs> You're saying that you were in a relationship with Tony and you were drunk one time and that's when you had sex with Brian. With Brian. But Tony was not in my life at that time. Oh, Tony had left. Tony was gone. I had put Tony out. Tony and me was not together. Why did you then. put Tony out? 
because he wasn't no good for me. He was cheating on me, did things to me too. Everybody acts like everybody was so perfect but me. We all make mistakes. I am not a perfect person, but I made my mistakes. I apologize for my mistakes, but okay. things happen. All right, let's take a break. I want everything to calm down because when we return, we will meet the brothers, Tony and Brian, and we'll reveal the DNA results. Stay tuned. Next. If you had an inkering that she up with your child, you said 25 years ago, why you did not come in her life? Why didn't you come get me, why Daddy? Why you didn't come get it 25 why, years Why, Daddy? Ago? 35 years later, here you go. Okay. Come. Later, he caught her cheating, and then she got pregnant. Once a cheater, always a cheater. He needs a stepmother to be the damn father, and he's dead. In denial. Today on Fisher. We're back. We're back with Kyoka, Tonya, and their mother, Lillian. Now, over 30 years ago, Lillian had sex with these two men, Tony and Brian, their brothers. Today, Kiona and Tonya are desperate to find out which of these two men are their fathers. Um, now, before we meet Tony and Brian, let's hear what they had to say about Lillian and the situation that they're in. I need to know if Tanya and Kyoka are my biological daughters. I need to know once and for all if Tanya or Kyoka are my biological daughters. I was only 20 years old when I had a relationship with Lillian. When I met her, she was pregnant with another man's child and married. I was only 16 years old when I slept with Lillian and I really didn't know any better. I met Lillian over 30 years ago and she was dating my brother at the time. I admit, I was having sex with her and it didn't mean anything to me. I believe I am Tanya's father because I pay child support and I am on her birth certificate. I'm not so sure about Kyoka. One of Lillian's family members told me I might be Kyoka's father. Uh, when I confronted Lillian, she got real upset and told me to never bring it up again because I am not Kyoka's father. I never thought about Kyoka being my daughter, especially since Lillian slept with every man that she met. Just a few years ago, I found out that my brother Brian and Lillian had a affair behind my back. Ever since my brother found out that I know that he had an affair with Lillian, he has avoided me like the plague. I hope today all issues will be resolved. After today, I hope this issue will be resolved once and for all. Okay. Now, I should tell you that these two brothers haven't seen or spoken to one another for over three years. So it's time to meet Tony and Brian, who may or may not be the father of uh, Kyoka and Tonya. Please welcome Tony and Brian. relationship with Lillian for how long? Right around three years. Two. Right around two years. Two years. Get it right. Two years. <laughs> two years. I put him out. So, Brian, when were you seeing or having sex with Lillian then? Well, I, 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 I was just turned 16. My brother and Lillian were living down the hall because I was living with my mother at the time, right down the hall in the same apartment building. And that's when this happened. Were you both having sex with her, but around the same time? No. We was not. Yes. I didn't even One know time. that they were, I didn't even know he they were having sex. Hang on, let's, let's hear so from he's a liar. Them. Okay, Lillian, what, instead of calling everyone else liars and not allowing them to One speak... One time. One time. Why don't you let them speak? Well, then it must not have been that good because I don't remember but one time with Brian. <laughs> anyway. Do either of you know if either of you are the father of either of these girls? I know Tanya's my daughter. I've always recognized her as my daughter. Why? How do you know that? Because <laughs> I was with nobody else but him. I guess a man has intuition just like women do. I know that's my daughter. But from what I hear, this would be the third time you've actually clapped eyes on her in her, in her entire life. No, there's, there's more than that. When she was, before she was a year old, before she right. even started walking, I had taken her for a year when I moved to Waterbury. Six months. Okay. Why did you take her? 
Because I went to the hospital to go. I, that's when I found out I was pregnant with Kyoko. I was living on Edgewood Street. Okay. I found out I was pregnant with Kyoko. I was at the doctor's office and he kidnapped my daughter for six months. How could, kidnapped? How could you be? How, how could you be? I didn't get to see my daughter for six months. Why did you take her? Because away? of the lifestyle. Well, you know, I used to take time. I didn't want to be with him. What Good lifestyle? Lord, Jesus. What lifestyle are you talking about? Well, I used to take Tanya on the weekends, and then it came to, you know what I mean, because it was a hard life. And they, they, uh, they didn't have a good childhood. So let me just ask Brian, when's the first you heard that Kyoka could be your daughter? About 25 years ago, um, I was told by Lillian's sister that Kyoka is your, is your daughter. Was Lillian a good mother in your mind? <laughs> How would he know? He was not dear. What it, well, I'm asking I wouldn't you. let her raise a goldfish. <laughs> Why? He a goldfish in this. He can say what he wants. Why? Like I you said, if he's such, to if get back such great father, these are supposed to be good role models, right? Father, if he's such a great father, I'm not an abusive 37 one. years. I am not an abusive one. How do we know? One. You 37 years, you was never there. So how would know what kind of father you are? Hey, look 37 at, years. Th 37 years. If you had an ignorant that killed with your child, you said 25 years ago, why you did not come in her life and talk to her? I just told you. I, I if you, you would have stood still. Daddy, why you didn't come you. and get me? Why you ain't come and get her 25 years why ago? Didn't why didn't you come get me, Why you ain't come and get her 25 why, years ago? Why, Daddy? You knew it was a possibility that she could be yours. 35 years later, here you come. Okay, I'm hang on. Now. Why didn't you come and get your daughter once you knew there was a chance she was your daughter. Why not come get her? Why? This all some junk. Okay. So I'm trying to make light of the situation. Cause there's some. This, you, this you, is you really, 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 like I said, 25 really years, over 35 the top. years. Hello. This is really over the what, top. At the end of the day, you don't think people are being honest. At the end of the day, these three people. May um, I want a maternity test too. But anyways, <laughs> these three yeah, people. Yeah, because I was your mother, I'd be mad. Justice. Yeah, I agree. These people are supposed to be uh, role models. And I understand this all happened when they were young. Okay, but when Brian and Tony enter back into my life, I have, have had great conversations, great honesty. With Brian, I feel so loved. Like, I miss that. So I'm angry as, as hell at Brian but that he didn't come earlier. get me because I was not loved. I was not loved what do you by love? my mother. I was loved by another man who wasn't my father, but never did I ever feel love from my mother. And but she I could sit you, up there I told and you say you that you I'm a, She could say I'm... Babe, you did everything for you, so how you didn't feel okay, love? Okay, but where my daddy? Who knows? That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not saying. I'm not the first or the last one. I'm not the first or the last one. Just a minute, Lillian. Kyoka, before we get... We're going to come to those results. You're saying, who's your daddy? Is there anything... Finally, you want to say to your mother, I don't know what the DNA test results are going to yeah, say. I want to say, there's no need for you to be angry and continue to lash out. When this situation is to find out who my father is, we've all now admitted for the first time that I don't know who my father is and neither do you. Why are you so angry about everything I've been you else? You know, this ain't the first time you heard this. Well, why am I looking for How my you know own about you need to, you're Why did I have to call Trisha? You're my mother. You're supposed to protect me. I didn't know. You don't protect nobody I didn't but know. Okay. At the end of the day, Let's I didn't know out. for what? Let's find out. So, uh, I told you I didn't know. Coming up, the DNA results are only the beginning. I have done more for my mother than any of her kids. She's out, she's gone. And the and day I'm she comes that. back in, I will whoop on her like the color person. And I will show you how a mother Let's show me. Get out my face. Show. Get out my face. Next. He caught her cheating, and then she got pregnant. Once a cheater, always a cheater. He did his damn father to be the damn father of these damn kids. I'm trying to be the whore. I'm trying to be the whore. Introducing Mistakes by Nosy, the mobile gaming story app that puts you in control of your own thrilling adventure. With Mistakes by Nosy, immerse yourself in a world of thrilling choices and captivating stories. With hundreds of paths to choose from and new stories added regularly, you'll always have new mistakes to make. Download Mistakes by Nosy and play anytime, anywhere. Mistakes by Nosy, where every choice matters. Search Mistakes by Nosy in the Android and Apple App Stores. Download Mistakes by Nosy now. Daddy's in denial. Why yeah, did you wow. come get me, Why Daddy? Today on Christmas. This is 24-year-old Connie. Now, Connie is engaged to this 44-year-old man, Jesus, and they have two children together. Now, before getting pregnant, Connie was caught 
cheating. During that rough time, Connie says she confessed to all of her wrongdoings in hopes that she could be forgiven. Well, today, Jesus hasn't forgiven or forgotten. In fact, he now insists Connie cheated more times than he knows about and claims both of their kids are not his biological children. First, let's hear Connie's story. I want to prove to my fiance, Jesus, that he is the father of my two children, Alexia and Eli. I admit that I have cheated in the past, but not now. I'm a changed woman. Hey, Susan and I have been together for six years. How could he do this to me? He's my everything. Because I cheated on Jesus in the past, he believes our two children are not his. When I was pregnant with the kids, he had left. He was there with Alexia, but he wasn't with Eli. I was all alone. I love him with all my heart, and I want him to believe me and to trust me and us to be a happy family. Jesus, I can't take it anymore. You are the kid's father. So, Connie, tell me, why are you here today? What's your main I'm here today to prove to Jesus that he is the kid's father and that he needs to step up and be a father, and I have been faithful to that man. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> now, okay. So, you've got two children. Is he denying both of them? He's denying Alexia and Eli. He is the father of both of those kids. And you said you admitted you cheated on him, right? Yes, I admitted that I cheated on him in How the past. How many times? How many times? Two times I had cheated on him in the past. And I had told him about it. I had been faithful since then. I'm tired of him to keep on going on, putting mind games in my head. I'm tired of everything. I'm so tired of it. I'm, he's put me down. He's calling me names. He's calling me a bitch. He's calling me a whore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of going through it. Those are his two kids. I'm tired of it. So let, let's go through this step by step. He insists that every time you have an argument, one of you takes off and then you, you turn up pregnant. True? <laughs> That's what he says. One of us take off and I end up pregnant? Yeah. Uh, he took off and left me by myself. For how long? With Alexia. How long? Alexia was three months old. I was pregnant with Eli. He's the one that freaking left, stepped out on my beautiful children, left us. We had okay. nothing. Have a seat. Have a seat. Now. Your aunt's been He's there the whole time. He's a deadbeat. He's a deadbeat. He's a deadbeat. He needs to step up and be the damn father of these damn kids. I'm trying to be the best. I'm trying to be the whore. I'm trying to be the everything. Hey, I'm coming. Have a seat. I think it's time we actually hear what's happening on the other side of things. Um, so let's meet 44-year-old Jesus. People like you jump in and people no. life like mine. I have to. You That's have my to. daughter and those are my grandkids. Later, I have done more for my mother than any of her kids. And as long as she's in my life, I'll be in hell. She's out, she's gone. And the and day I'm she comes back that. in, I will whoop on her like the color person. And I will show you how a mother Let's will fight show show Get out my face, get out my face. You are the father. You are my soul. in denial. Why did you Why? come get me, Why Daddy? Today on Trisha. I want to prove to my fiance, Jesus, that he is the father of my two children, Alexia and Eli. When I was pregnant with the kids, he had left. He was there with Alexia, but he wasn't with Eli. Jesus, I can't take it anymore. You are the kid's father. He's put me down. He's calling me names. He's calling me a bitch. He's calling me a whore. I'm tired of it. I think it's time we actually hear what's happening on the other side of things. Um, so let's meet 44-year-old Jesus. Yeah. How dare you deny our children? For real? For real? For real? Have a seat. For real? Have a seat. So, Jesus, do you trust Connie? No. No, why not? Once a cheater, always a cheater. Oh, no. OK. When? But he's never cheated. Right. Within the five years we've been together, Have you cheated? he's always, he's always, been, he's always been honest. Why do you doubt these two children? Like I said, like she said, she went to a club. Right. Well, we went to a club. Where the hell she go? Uh, I, I went to the bathroom. I come back, she's gone. Right. 
How long we... was she gone for? Two hours. Your partner goes missing in a club for two hours. Yes. You don't look for her? Yes, I went looking for her. Oh, and where, where did she turn up? I didn't know. I couldn't find her. So I sat on the chair just waiting for her to get show back up. So when, And she showed back up? Yes, and yeah. two... I asked her where she's at. She said in the bathroom. For two hours? And tell me about the second child. Why, there's, why is there doubt about... Because it's, it's a pattern. Oh, you had another argument or something? We had another argument. She takes off for another a whole day again. Right. And a week later... She's pregnant. She's pregnant again. You gonna tell me that baby don't look just like you? Now you no, need to mind your business. You gonna tell me that babies don't look quite no, like you? No, you know why you... Diapers, you know why? You, you are so insecure. Okay, wait, wait. Who's on the birth certificate? Me. Not her. He's on the birth certificate. So why... Why are you on the birth certificate? Be the father that you need to be instead of leaving it with me. Why? name on the birth certificate if you doubt both children? I doubt, yes, there is the doubt. But yeah. today we're going to find out. And if they're not, so they get off my birth. I'll keep my name oh, out. I'll take them out. OK, oh. but he pays $95. No. He pays no. $95 a piece on them a month. Let me ask right. you why are you, you are insecure. insecure. Are you working? I I'm not insecure. Yeah, I'm you just are. Got people like you jumping in people's no. life like mine. I have to. You That's have to. my daughter, and those are my grandkids. She and needs to mind her. Well, needs to mind her business. Oh, okay. What will change? Well, we've got two things here. We've got a DNA test and we've got a lie detector test. So let me ask you some questions. I do not know what the results are. What would you do if either of these children weren't yours, since you love kids? If they were not mine, yeah. I'll still support them. What happens if they're both your children? Are you... You're going to stick around and mend this relationship? Or yeah, we'll work it, yes. Apart? We'll go to counseling and I'll work it out. All of right. course I will. Okay. Of course. I mean, I will. I'm a man. Now, we need I'm, to get a, I'm not a kid. I am not a kid. What happens but, if both kids are yours and she has cheated? Well, then, I guess I get a, I get a free pass to go cheat. You said you love me. I, was, I made a mistake. He now, left now, me. He listen. left me. Oh. He left oh. me out of the blue. Hang on, just a minute. Just a minute. You... I can start seeing why he would doubt you. If he... When he leaves you, you feel you can go off with somebody else. Except. So I can see why no, but, he but, but, but I haven't. You have. Let's find out. Now. Let's... Let's find out. Thank you. So... Who wants to open the DNA results for Alexis? Let oh. him do it. Oh. So do you want to do it? Let's find out. Next. Have you cheated with anyone that Jesus doesn't know about? The polygraph determined that Connie... Oh! Oh, so okay. I believe he needs a lie detector test. Later... I have done more for my mother than any of her kids. And as long as she's in my life, I'll be in hell. She's out, she's gone. And the day and she comes that. back in, I will whoop on her like the color person. And I will show you how a mother Let's show me. Show Get out my face. Get out my face. Introducing Mistakes by Nosy, the mobile gaming story app that puts you in control of your own thrilling adventure. With Mistakes by Nosy, immerse yourself in a world of thrilling choices and captivating stories. With hundreds of paths to choose from and new stories added regularly, you'll always have new mistakes to make. Download Mistakes by Nosy and play anytime, anywhere. Mistakes by Nosy, where every choice matters. Search Mistakes by Nosy in the Android and Apple app stores. Download Mistakes by Nosy now. Daddy's in denial. Daddy, wow. come get me, Daddy. Daddy. Today on Trisha. I want to prove to my fiance, Jesus, that he is the father of my two children, Alexia and Eli. When I was pregnant with the kids, he had left. He was there with Alexia, but he wasn't with Eli. Jesus, I can't take it anymore. You are the kid's father. He's put me down. He's calling me names. He's calling me a bitch. He's calling me a whore. I'm tired of it. How dare you deny our children? Do you trust Connie? No. Why do you doubt these two children? One's a cheater, always a cheater. Who wants to open the DNA results for Alexi? Let oh. him do it. Oh. So do you want to do it? Find out. <laughs> DNA test says she is your daughter. <laughs> Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. You need to pick your game up. All right, sit down. What about that? So the little boy Eli. Let's find out. You can frame that. 
Thank you. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put this mug on Facebook. Oh, he's not the father. What? What you say? <laughs> and Eli is your son. There you go. We aren't finished yet. Well, since Jesus had severe allegations about Connie cheating, we did give Connie a lie detector test to determine whether or not she was having sex with any other man around the time she got pregnant. So, Connie sat down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator, and polygraphed himself. Yeah. Yeah. We love Tim, and Tim loves the truth. So, Tim, are we ready? Yes, Richard. These are Connie's lie detector results. I don't know what they are. We're about to find out if she was lying or telling the truth. Connie, we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with someone other than Jesus around the time you got pregnant with either of your children? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Connie was being truthful. We asked Connie, have you cheated with anyone that Jesus doesn't know about? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Connie was being truthful. Thank you! Thank you! Now! Can you know that the truth is not? Okay. I believe he needs a lie detector test. Oh, I think well, I need her to sit her he butt ass down. Okay, just a minute. That's another thing. Okay, just a minute. Have a seat. Have a seat, Angela. Um, for the health of yourselves, and for your children, you need to stop, excuse my French, pissing around and step up. There you go. Yes! You know what I'm saying? Now, I just need... Okay, she, at the moment, if she is a support for Connie, then she needs to be there. But what I'm saying is, again, coming back to two healthy children, which may have given you issues about parentage and what have you, you need to guard those children, not just their physical health, but their mental health. So what I'm saying is, never mind, I've got, I can go and cheat with someone else. You both need to take care of your own health when having sex and being around your children. And anything less than that, I consider abuse. You hear me? You hear yeah. me loud and clear? Yes, this is a television program. I have now got 27 years odd of mental health background, health issues, parenting charities, all of that sort of thing. So whatever the program is, whatever we're doing with lie detectors and DNA, if that's the strongest message I can give anyone on this show, that is the message I'm giving the both of you while you are here, while you are silent, you will take care of those children's lives. <laughs> Of course, those are my babies. We'll be right back. See you in a moment. Next, the DNA results are only the beginning. I have done more for my mother than any of her kids. And as long as she's in my life, I'll be in hell. She's out, she's gone. And the and day I'm she comes back that. in, I will whoop on her like the color person. And I will show you how a mother will fight back. Get out my face, get out my face. Daddy's in denial. Why yeah, did you wow. come get me, Why Daddy? Today on Trisha. My daughters, Tanya and Kyoka, are demanded to find out who their father is. I am 100% sure that Tony is Tanya's father. But I will admit that I am not sure who Kyoka's father is. I need to know if Tanya and Kyoka are my biological daughters. Just a few years ago, I found out that my brother Brian and Lillian had a fear behind my back. I need to know once and for all if Tanya or Kyoka are my biological daughters. Was Lillian a good mother in your mind? I wouldn't let her raise a goldfish. <laughs> this situation is to find out who my father is. This ain't the first time you heard this. Well, why am I looking for How do you know about you need to, you're 
this work. When they don't call me second, I don't okay. got a daddy. So right. I'm about to leave no, no, here no. with no Sweetheart, damn daddy. Let's fight. Let's let's do this. Stay strong. Stay strong. Okay. All right. Stay strong. We don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Tanya, just hold on, because yeah, I want to. I want to deal with this. All right. All right. Tanya, these are your results. Do you want to open them? You my dad. I know that. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. Tony is your father. Oh! There was no doubt. I never said that. Never I, said that. I, never, I never denied Tony. I never denied Tony. Okay, that might not be the truth. That's a lie. All right. So, I need that. Why do you need that? I'm putting oh, that on Facebook. No, I'm, I'm about to say, I'm keeping that. Yes, Brian. Before, before we read this one, I, I mean, I just need everybody to know and understand that I owe my brother an apology for not being stronger. Oh. Um, yeah. well, Brother, I also really, I also really need people to know this, and I, being young doesn't make you stupid. But I owe my brother an apology, and I'm sorry whether they're both my nieces or Kyoka's my daughter. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry they went through the life they did because I know what it's like, and I'm, I'm so sorry. Let's find out. Kyoka, do you want to open this? I know the first. I'll let. Do you want to open it or should I open it? Go ahead. Should I open it? You want to open it with me? I don't know what it says, sweetheart. I hope for her sake it's one of them. I'm honest. I'm being honest. I hope it's one of them so that she can oh, have man. peace in her life. I love my kids with all my heart. I am not the perfect person in life, but I'm all right with my life. <laughs> say okay you have been through a lot and both of you have been affected you're kind of the avoider you're kind of doing the anger for both of them I know you said you wanted an apology from your mother I don't know if you got it there seems to be a huge discrepancy you hear what I'm saying a huge difference in the way you see the past. Am I right? Do you think they're blowing it out That's, of proportion? But I have apologized to my kids over and over because I did make a mistake you, Lillian, in my life. Do you think what, the, what they've told us, they went through, do you think it's all true? Do you think they're blowing I, it? Yeah, I, it had to be because she would not lie to me. She would not lie to me. I have done more for my mother than any of her kids. She and reached I have out done to more me. for you than any of my you kids. You reach out to me. And you I reach out to me. You have done I take care of myself. I don't want or need for nothing. And the no. bad thing about that is that I put a wall up from everybody. Yeah. I isolate myself from the entire world, which is not good. And as long as she's in my life, I'll be in hell. And I kicked her out my life until they begged me to let her back in. She's out, she's gone. And the and day I'm she comes back that. in, I will whoop on her like the color person. And I will show you how a mother will fight me. back. Show. Get out my face, get out my face. You better get out my no, face. funny, all right. You're funny. Have Hi, Daddy, let's go, Daddy. <laughs> In denial. Why yeah, did you Why? come get me, Why Daddy? Today on Twitter. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, today we've heard a lot of blame in regards to people's unhappiness. So here's the question of the day for you: Did someone make your childhood hell? And to this day, they deny they did anything wrong. Or are you being accused of ruining someone's childhood and you'd like to set the record straight? Well, if so, call us at one eight five five for trisha We'd like to hear your story. And I'd like to thank you for watching today. There will be more truth tomorrow. So we'll see you then.